Welcome to this session everyone. In this session we are going to talk about creating forward and reverse lookup files for the domain or the zone which we have just configured in our last section. Before we begin, uh, it's very important to understand what are the forward and reverse lookup. So forward lookup. In forward lookup, DNS lookup is using an internet domain name to find an IP address. Basically that's name to IP resolution. Reverse is opposite where IP address is used to find a domain. You can see on screen uh, I've created sample forward and reverse lookup files for our domain open sky. So here uh, for example TTT is uh, TTL sorry that's a uh, time to lag and that is set in seconds so you can see that's a limit. After that it's an internet record SOA. SOA is the start of authority which is saying master.opensky.home and root.opensky.home. So we are telling authority. Serial is uh, like this gets updated or you have to update whenever you're making any changes to the configuration. Refresh after how many seconds it should be refreshed. Retry is to retry the things. Expire uh, after this particular time this uh, thing is going to expire. What is minimum TTL? That's a minimum TTL and we have set to minimal whatever the default value. We haven't used any custom value. After that uh, this is IN internet record for NSME name server which is the name server master.opensky.home and you know this is our master DNS server name. After that I have specified two A records. A mean A record here with ending with 200 second ending with 210. So here is the more detailed information for forward lookup. Whenever someone look for master a record for that particular one is ending with 200, 192.168.1.200. If someone looks for client one, the A record and IP will be 192.168.1.200. So here, this is going to our DNS entries. So if someone looks for client one, he's going to get this IP. So that's the way forward looker works. And you can add C record here. You can add MX record here. MX basically mail server record. And you can add multiple records if you want. After that, uh, reverse lookup file. Reverse lookup file, most of the things are same. Only thing here, uh, we are specifying PTR, which is pointer, which is opensky.home in our case. After that, uh, here you can see master, same entry, client one, same entry. If you check it or compare it with forward lookup, but only difference, this is the last bit of IP address, 200. You can see 200, 200. And uh, this is reverse lookup. And uh, if someone looks for 200, basically that will be pointed to 200.1.168.192. Let me show you an example quickly. Here, if I show you name.com, if you see this 200, so this is going to be full. 200.1.168.192. That's how it is going to work. And it is going to refer this particular file, reverse.opensky. And here is the example of our file, reverse.opensky. So if someone looks for 200, it's going to point this particular IP. If someone looks for 210, it is going to point to client1.opensky.com. So that's the way we defined uh, records in forward and reverse lookup file. So guys, let's do a quick lap. Here I'm going to use vi or vim to add uh, content in this file. I'm going to create a file. This is empty right now. I'm putting content here. Okay, it's done. As I discussed, uh, you know, about uh, this configuration, which I am adding, that's good. So let's create other file. Which is basically our reverse lookup file now. Here I'm just pasting comment because uh, I've already prepared the things beforehand to save time of your and mine. So this also looks good. But here TTL is missing at the rate symbol. Let me manually add it. Looks good to me. Let's save this file. So guys, uh, that's the way we configure forward and reverse lookup. Again, uh, I want to ensure that you aware what are the file names and how they work. So let me show you quickly. Here 
here you can see the forward lookup file. As I mentioned, var named is the default path for uh, bind to lookup for the forward and reverse lookup file. Here in the zone configuration for opensky.home, we specified file to be forward.opensky. That's the reason we created file forward.opensky. For reverse lookup, we specified file will be reverse.opensky. That's the reason we have created reverse.opensky. So that's a way. If you choose any different name, let's say forward.abc, then put relevant name here. Reverse.abc, put relevant name here. So that's the main thing which I want to ensure you guys understand. And let me show you this file quickly, etc name.conf itself. Here you can see directory. This is the configuration directory, var named. That's the reason everything I'm creating that is under var named. If you want to choose your custom path, let's say slash app slash something, 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 you can put that uh, path here. Accordingly, you can create your named files or re forward and reverse lookup file in that particular path. But this is lab setup. I'm uh, trying to be stick with very basics wherever possible so you guys can understand once you understand then you can play with the configuration you can add multiple things because purpose of this session is to give you basic idea about the bind dns server so guys we are good so far we have uh, configured our zone file we have configured our forward and reverse local file so so far we are good with everything with bind dns server now we can start our configuration checks. Let's do in next section. Thank you guys.